Adesso c'è eh, l'intervento di Winston Cheng, presidente international di, del sito di e-commerce cinese JD.com. Eh, L'intervento è in inglese, per cui per chi desidera avere le cuffie con la traduzione vi chiederei di alzare la mano e le, e le, le hostess ve le porteranno. Grazie. Well, good morning. It's very nice to uh, be here today. I just landed. I think there's some hands over there for, so maybe I'll stop. I think there's some hands for uh, translation machines. Okay, so good morning. Um, I landed in uh, Milan this morning and I was uh, very happy. Uh, I heard that the Da Vinci painting just sold for 450 million US dollars overnight. I knew I was in the right place. Italian products are still the ones in demand, especially for very high prices. So uh, it's very good to be here today. Uh, many of you may not know JD.com, so today I would like to introduce uh, a little bit about our company, what's happening in China, particularly in e-commerce. I've, uh, through the great translation, caught two words today in earlier sessions, uh, China and e-commerce. I keep hearing that re repeated theme, so uh, hopefully my session would, uh, would be relevant uh, to you all. Um, oh, little technical mistake. So a little bit about us. Uh, we are the largest internet company today in China by revenues. Uh, because of our first party business, we take in inventory. Uh, we're a very efficient company. Our inventory turn is roughly 40, 30, 34 days. Uh, and we are, by that definition, we are actually the third largest internet company in the world behind uh, Amazon and Google. Our GMV is roughly about $200 billion a year in terms of turnover. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have our own logistics system. In fact, our founder founded this company 13 years ago with 2,000 US dollars. And today the market cap is 60 billion US. So whenever I say this, I always wish I knew him back then and gave him $1,000. So many of you probably have heard November 11th. November 11th is a big sales date uh, for us. We have uh, 618, which is June 18th, which is our founding date, and that's kind of the summer sales. And then there's November 11th, which is closer to win winter time, more similar to Black Friday in the US, but it's many times greater. Uh, this November 11th is another record year in China, and per for us in particular. Uh, we did about $19.1 billion, and that's from the sales date from November 1st to November 11th. That's a year-on-year -year growth rate of over 50%. What's most exciting is also the brands, and you can see uh, brands are relevant for Italy, relevant for luxury, and relevant for the people in this room certainly very, very high growth rates that we're seeing on our platform. And I'll talk a little bit more about uh, this increasing trend in terms of move towards brands and particularly into luxury brands. <clears throat> our growth rate has really been driven by our authenticity, our focus on authenticity. We are not a C2C platform. We've always been starting from day one, a B2C platform, where we work with only famous brands and also famous dis large distributors and authorized distributors. Um, and so for us, in 2007, we invested in our own fulfillment, where we feel third-party fulfillment was not up to par, didn't deliver the service, didn't represent our quality in terms of the service and customer experience that we want. So we have invested hundreds, if not billions of dollars into our own fulfillment system. And that, and that focus on customer experience have led us to really outgrow the industry. In fact, the 103 million new customer ad added from 2016 onto the first half of this year is the largest absolute new customers added in all of China in any platform, full stop. So that's actually quite significant. And, and it's also a very quality platform because of our focus on authenticity products and no long tail consumers selling on our platform. Our AOV, average order value, which is an important metric for e-commerce is also six times highest than our largest competitor, which the color should represent them, but I will not say who they are. And then we also have a partnership with Tencent. Tencent has a famous uh, application inside China. It's called WeChat. Uh, Tencent is the largest uh, social media company inside China today. It has over 963 million users. 
and it still continues to grow rapidly. What's most powerful about Tencent is also the daily usage of, of WeChat. Today, many people, I think, use Tencent probably every three minutes. They, you, know, you, get, you sit there and you just turn on, you look at what your friends are posting or you're sending a message. And on business side, we're increasingly using this WeChat also as a tool. I think many people actually in this room, having done business with China, are actually also WeChat users. And we have the exclusive entry into Tencent's WeChat uh, platform as the shopping window. Right above their, their games, which is one of the main revenue sources, is the exclusive entryway for us. And that has been an increasingly important uh, traffic source for us, but today is not our major traffic source. JD.com has become a very household name for shopping, and therefore our application has been the most important source of our own traffic today. But we can increasingly inc continue to want to improve the customer experience. And so we have going deeper into our partnership. Today we're opening up our data, the data from their social platform and also data from our transaction data to also combine hopefully with offline partners as such as yourselves in this room to really collectively using data to effectively build your brand and also hopefully make better marketing dollars spent for you and, and, and higher ROI for all of us, whether as a retailer or as a brand provider. And that data from social media can be anything from what they're posting in terms of a brand, what they've liked, even with, if someone else is posting and they're clicking a like on their friends and saying, I support this brand, that's being captured today. And we have the transaction data to basically say, that's the user that has been doing that and he actually bought something on JD and now we can actually cross uh, market to this person. And so combining that with offline shopping data, that would be the most effective marketing campaign that we can have for retailers and also brands such as yourselves. We continue to build a uh, open partnership. We are a very open company in terms of partnerships. We never ask brands to choose uh, platforms. You can be on our platform, you can be on any platform. We differentiate by the service we provide. And so for us, we open a, 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 a very large internet ecosystem with uh, our partners. These are some of the major uh, traffic generators inside China today. Of course, Baidu, the dominant search firm inside, inside China. Uh, 360 is another number two search company. NetEase, their news is very popular, and of course, Toutiao, which is perhaps the biggest threat to Baidu today, but also one of the most popular uh, news apps today. And people who are watching the news, watching the ads there, actually get referred to shop on JD. Once, uh, once certain behavior is recognized. So all of this is also very, very powerful for brands who are selling on our platform. The Chinese e-commerce e market, I think everyone knows the importance of it, but the, the market is increasingly important. The absolute dollar spent on the e-commerce market today is already larger than the US. In fact, it's about $100 billion larger than the US in terms of total market size. And that's a very, very significant number. With the GDP growth rate in excess of the U.S. growth rate, I think that number will only continue to ex uh, 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 exceed. We believe the e-commerce penetration in terms of total retail market will probably reach about 40% over the next five years. So we believe that there's still significant opportunities for e-commerce sales uh, inside China. And people are increasingly looking for uh, luxury goods to buy. People are... Uh, the Chinese consumer today are moving from what satisfying their needs online to satisfying their wants. They're looking for brands. They're looking for luxury brands. They're looking for things to identify themselves, things that they can associate with to build an image for themselves and individualism. So that's very important. And they're shopping more online. They're shopping 50% uh, of, of the population today are shopping online, and which is very, very much greater than the global average. So the e-commerce that portion is a very important distribution channel for brands, particularly inside China. Of course, many of you know that uh, you know, consumers have already uh, changed the behavior. Uh, today, people don't want to be watching only advertisement from the brands. They want to look at what their friends are saying. They want to look at what certain recognized people are saying, not only from celebrities, but people by, who are internet celebrities. What in China, I think in Asia, we call them KOLs, key opinion leaders. In the Western world, maybe key influencers. But these have become an important fact uh, of the distribution inside China, and it's not to be uh, neglected. And we have built uh, our ecosystem to address the changes in terms of the consumer behavior uh, that's happening today, not only in China, but really effectively globally. 
And people are looking for, really looking for Italian products to buy as well. So just for example, in terms of the uh, uh, searches, just on, uh, uh, this is a daily average search for one quarter in the, th in the third quarter this year. Uh, just on Gucci, this is an average daily search, almost 72,000 searches. If you just do the math, let's just assume 1% conversion rate on this search. And this is a search on our site. So people come on JD already prepared to shop. But we're still assuming very low conversion rate. Let's just say 1%. 1% conversion rate is much lower than the JD conversion rate. But let's just assume 1% conversion rate, $1,000 AOV, which would be low for Gucci products, I think. You're looking at $1 million, roughly almost about a $1 million sales a day. And that's one day that you could actually get by having your products officially online on JD.com. So I think this is a very, very powerful platform. And the fashion is a very important category for us. As our user base continues to grow, as our GMV grows rapidly, we're finding more and more women shopping on our platform. And as we grow to the next phase and satisfy the, the potential traffic from Tencent, which is 963 million people, now converting them to shop on the internet, on mobile, on JD, that's very, very important for us to make sure that we have the breadth of products to sell and increasingly, we're looking for women-related products in terms of this category. And we're seeing rapid growth, and this is the fastest growing category for us, is the fashion category on our platform. And we've, we've become the most trusted partner across a lot of the major categories, and we're increasingly trying to build with more people, build brands with more people uh, out in this part of the world. This is my personal fifth trip uh, in the last uh, five or six months to Milan, and uh, we've also, in our last trip, decided that I need to see my family more, so we're going to build an office in Milan here and hire people right here in the local market. The increase in terms of the uh, demand for luxury means that we also need to build a luxury platform. But we're, in our visits, we're also hearing from brands. We know that you care about ad adjacencies. We care about the brand building. We care about the margins and things like that. So we've built a completely clean platform dedicated for luxury brands only dedicated for brands only, no distributors, brands only platform, and the premium e-commerce experience from the beginning where you can operate your own store to the delivery where we picked from our 80,000 in-house delivery people, which we have on full time, and we pick the best, the tallest, the best service, the ones that provided the best uh, service record, put a suit on them, put white gloves, and they're gonna deliver these luxury packages for us. And we're hearing from brands what the brands need. They need to build, brand the build, build brands online. They need to access the largest potential customer base, but they don't need to sell the most products. They need to balance between the sales and the margins. We're, we're hearing that, but they want to access the highest value consumers. So we have all of that data to be able to satisfy this demand. And we want to make sure this is a trusted platform with no great goods, no fake goods, which is, does not exist on our platform. And we make, want to make sure that the end consumer delivery, whether it's a JD name or delivering the package or the brands, it's a premium reliable service because it's our collective customer. So we want to make sure that they have the best experience. And what we offer, of course, is from the social media side down to the delivery service that, that I discussed, which will hopefully give the complete total experience uh, for the user and also continue to help build brands built uh, online as well. But the KOL partners are very important. We're partnering with celebrities. We own um, uh, modeling agencies. We actually partner with a lot of media and we have uh, signed up many, many uh, key KOLs. In fact, we've had a group of global KOLs visit us uh, on November 11th. And we also have not only local, but also global uh, KOLs on our platform uh, who are uh, uh, trying to understand us and help promote the brands on our platform as well. And then of course, the delivery service once again, whether you're on JD Luxury, and we provide the best uh, holistic coverage. You know, over four million staff uh, across the country inside China. Uh, Ninety-five percent of our orders can be delivered within 24 hours. And then, of course, on the right, the top life, which we have a completely air uh, pollution-free, uh, temperature-controlled uh, warehouse, which we built dedicated for luxury, as well as our luxury premium delivery service, and that will give the luxury products the quality and experience that they deserve when they reach the end consumer through the internet. And of course, that's enough. We actually made an investment into Farfetch as well, 
uh, earlier this year for $400 million. We're now one of the largest shareholders inside Farfetch, and we're helping Farfetch uh, uh, gain consumers inside China through our marketing capabilities, through our traffic uh, generation capabilities, uh, through internet finance, loans to the consumers who are buying the luxury products, and then, of course, uh, the logistics capabilities that we can bring to onto them as well. And of course, also our payment capabilities. So with, with all of that, we're now really focused on capturing the opportunities within the luxury segment. With that, we are after all a technology company, so I want to share with you a little bit about us. So thank you very much. I know I'm one of the few keeping you from lunch today. So uh, with that, I want to thank Mr. Pambianco for inviting me to this, and thank you for your time today. And hopefully we can work together in China.